fighting this disease from, you know, from the sky, from the land, and from the sea, so to speak, there also seems to be another kind of hesitancy, and I'm speaking about um, treatment drugs. Uh, there's a hesitancy to talk about ivermectin. There's a hesitancy to to try it, it seems. Maybe you know something more about what our health system is doing, but there's certainly news that ivermectin, I mean, Dr. Alessandro Santon, an oncologist working at, with a laboratory at Yale, believes that uh, ivermectin could be very effective. He's worked with it. He's tried it. And, of course, he's not the only one. Uh, it's apparently a drug that does no harm in particular. It's not got a big risk to try it, but it has helped many, many people. Are we doing anything with that? And if not, why not? We're pursuing uh, domestic research that we hope can lead to uh, better vaccine availability in the future, perhaps uh, not uh, during this uh, wave, but uh, when we need uh, uh, boosters in coming years or if there's another pandemic to have Canadian research available. And pr we have production, of course, in Manitoba. It's our, our leading industry is drug manufacturing. Uh, I just want to say uh, thanks to all uh, concerned uh, for the rain. Uh, our fire situation, though not uh, fully addressed, has uh, been significantly reduced in terms of its danger uh, as a consequence of this rain. And, of course, when farmers make money, we're all better off. And uh, this is a billion-dollar rain for our ag community. So uh, uh, I want to thank the people in charge uh, for making that rain available. Keep up the great work. Thanks, everybody.